When it comes to building production ready LLM applications, Llama Index is one good choice. If you are looking to build enterprise ready production grade rack pipeline, then have a look at Llama Cloud. Llama Cloud is an enterprise rack pipeline platform. In this video, I am going to share with you a new offering from Llama Cloud, which is multimodal retrieval augmented generation. Retrieval augmented generation simply means that you provide context to your large language model about your own data. Now the data could be of text, it could be images, it could be any modality. So when it comes to multi-modality, there are not many RAG options available. When we say RAG, in simple words, what it means is that you take your own data, you split it or chunk it into smaller pieces, you convert those smaller pieces into numerical representations, and then those numerical representations get stored in a vector store or embedding store because these numerical representations are also called as vectors or embeddings. There an index is created. From that index, whenever a user makes a query from LLM about your data, a similar search is run and the similar search results are retrieved and augmented to the user's query. And then this augmented input is given to LLM, which returns a more grounded result. So that is what a RAG is. Now, most of the RAG applications, tools, and other frameworks at the moment only support text. This really leads to decreased document understanding, lower quality responses, and increased hallucination rates. For example, most of the enterprises and companies have their data stored in maybe something like Jira or Confluence or something like that in a document store. And if you just take a particular Confluence document, you would see that it includes tables, it includes images, it includes text and a lot of other things. Now, if you only are extracting text out of that document, it might not represent the full reality. That is where multimodal RAG becomes quite crucial. Multimodal LLMs like Pixtrawl, Sonnet, GPT-4 are increasingly better at document understanding. And that is where when we have an enterprise ready RAG pipeline offering such as Llama Cloud, it really makes it quite easy and really practical to build our multimodal RAG pipeline. In this video, I'm going to show you that how easy it is to build a multimodal RAG pipeline in Llama Cloud. Now, in order to get started, you would need to go to cloud.llamaindex.ai and then you can sign up and you can get your API key. If you're signing up for the first time, I think you also get some credits from there. Also, I will be using Google's Colab, uh, which is a free option. All you need to do is to just go to colab.research.google.com, sign in with your Gmail account and you should be able to good to go. It is all API based, so we should be good. Uh, but if you want to replicate these instructions, you can easily simply run it anywhere where Python is installed. Okay, so that is done and don't worry about the commands. I'm going to share all the commands in my blog and I will drop the link in the video's description. So let me take you to Llama Cloud. Let me sign in with my Google account and then we will get the API key. Once you sign into Llama Cloud, you will be presented with this screen and you can see that it's not cluttered. This is what I really love about it. They are not, they haven't thrown everything at you. If you look at the left hand side, all there is to is Llama parse, index and extraction. If you want to know more about Llama parse, just my search my channel with Llama parse or parse, you should be able to find it. Now, first step you need to do is to click on API key on the left hand side. And you can see that I already have this key. So I'm just going to use it, but you can just generate a new key and start using it. Now for the multimodality, all you need to do is to just go to index, just click here, click on create index. So what we are going to do, we are just going to uh, use a sample document, which will have images and text, and then we will create an index on top of it. 
and for the sample document i'm just going to go with this one which has been supplied by lava cloud as an example so you see it has all the stuff which you can think of uh, in terms of multimodality there are images there are tables there are graphs and a lot of other stuff and now you can imagine that how useful it is to have a multi model rag okay so let's go back to llama cloud now here you can just give it any of your um, uh, name of your choice maybe i'll just say multi index or whatever you like normally i'll just keep it for the sake of multi index and then from the data source you just click here you click on files and then you can upload the file from your local system so let me select the file from my local system which i already have saved there as you can see that it, i have selected the file which i just showed you and then you can just um, use this fully managed data sync or you could just attach it to wherever your file will end up like vector store or wherever it could be quadrant pine cone and all of those vector store but i'm just going to go fully managed i will let it manage it for me now you would need to specify embedding model here so it could be embedding model from vertex ai from open ai and all that stuff so if you are using open as embedding model which is this one you would need to provide the open as api key and for that you would need to go to platform.openai.com that is a paid option so let me put it there and then click on validate connection so i have inserted my key and my connection is valid it means that my key is working now this is the important bit you need to make sure that you just toggle this on because this is a multimodal indexing so we need to make sure that we toggle it on now here you can just select for fast which is going to take three credits or so and you can also read it that when you use fast mode they do not use ocr or extract any images from your document so but for accurate if you just see it also perform ocr and image extraction and lot of other stuff and premium mode this is the most accurate one it also do, does a lot of other stuff so i'm just going to select the premium one why not you can also go with the third party multimodal and you can just select open gpt4 and all that stuff but i'm just going to go with this one now if you want to give any parsing instruction you can give it but i'm not going to go you can also check out what you want to do whether you want to uh, text and image handling you want to skip ocr so it is quite customizable as you can see i'm just going to keep it as is there are a lot of other stuff which you can check for example page specification uh, you can just go with how many pages you want to go i think you can give a range or select the few ones also there is a um, bounding box where you just can give the uh, coordinates of it where it will only uh, parse the selected area of your document so let's leave everything as is here if you want you can do transformation setting these are the i would just suggest keep the chunk size and stuff as is and then click on deploy index and you can see it is just creating the pipeline so what pipeline is it is doing it is taking your documents it is first chunking it convert which means converting it into smaller sizes then it is converting it into numerical representation all the text images because we have selected multimodality and for that conversion it is using the embedding model which we have given and that is a paid option as i said so you would also need to keep an eye on your uh, open as credit there but anyway so you see that uh, it is still creating i believe as you can see on the right it is in progress and it is also giving you this code which you can uh, put it in your colab or whatever your code is and then you can use it so i'm just going to click on copy i have copied it another cool thing is that if you don't want to do python you can go with javascript but i am going to go with python here and before you proceed further you would need to make sure that you wait for this index to finish creating and depending upon your document size it is it takes time accordingly and it is telling you that it is in progress and index id project id and all that stuff so let's wait for this to finish and then we will move move forward 
so it took a bit of a time but the index creation is finished you can also check it by refreshing it or from the left hand side you can click on indexes and you will see that now our index is created now let's go to our google colab and it's a free google colab i'm just running it on cpu because it's an api based so no need to use gpu let me first install the llama cloud prerequisites let's run it from here let's wait for it to get finished prerequisite is done let's specify our index project and org id which we copied from there and here you would need to replace it with your own api key so let me put in my api key and remove it the best practice is always that in order instead of putting it here you should be storing it here in the secrets hopefully i already have it if not maybe i'll just put it here so what i will do i will just add a new secret here and then i will just say llama cloud api key put my key here and that i will use it here so that instead of exposing it it will be safely stored here so here you can see that I have saved it as a Lama Cloud API key and then I have toggled it on and once it is toggled on all you need to do is to just type this from google.colab import user data and then I am just getting that user data. So now it is not exposed and I can simply use this API key anywhere I want in my code and I already have run it. It has imported everything and it has also initialized the index here. Okay, so next up, let's try to retrieve the text and images from our index. So you see, we are just importing the image from below and then we are importing other stuff to display the images. And then we are looping through the nodes, which are primarily uh, wherever data is stored in that index. And then we are displaying the no uh, images from there. So let me run it. So the function is defined. Let's also grab the retriever from there, which is going to retrieve the data from the index. That retriever is also defined. And now let's give it a question. Now the question is what we are trying to ask. The, this is a prompt and this will get augmented with the data we have stored it in that node and the retriever will be retrieving it. So let's define the node. Node has been done. Let's uh, try to see what exactly is there. Let's try to print um, the first node. I think that might contain some of the text if you remember. So if I just take you there, this is our actual document if you can see it. And if I go back, this is what we have printed. So you see it's a similar sort of thing. It has some graphs and all that stuff, some text here and some of this which it has displayed. And it is all stored in our index now in our React pipeline. Similarly, you can display, uh, you can even uh, go with the example query if you like. I mean, if you just, you all you need to do is to just uh, give it to your LLM and LLM is also going to show you the answer. You see, what we have done here is all we, we have just given it this prompt. And this uh, rag pipeline has returned as the data in multimodal format. So this is how easy it is to build a rag pipeline with images and data or multimodal with the help of this llama cloud as i said i will drop the link to these commands in video description and then you can play around with it all you need is this api key from llama cloud and also from openai and you are good to go and we have a production grade enterprise ready multimodal rag pipeline so that's it let me know what do you think about it I will drop the link to it in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.